everybody, welcome to my channel. I am That Oracle Guy, AKA Patrick, that is my name. Uh, for my subscribers that are here, thank you very much for being here. And for those of you that don't know me, I am an Oracle card reader and a tarot card reader here on YouTube. I like to offer uh, pick a pile readings for the collective. And this is part of a series that I am doing once a week called um, Mystic Messages Monday. It is a weekly um, series where I just kind of paint the picture of the week ahead for you. Maybe some things to look forward to, some things to think about, perhaps some challenges that are on the way, like resolutions for that, ways to solve that, things to consider, etc. Um, I'm really enjoying kind of keeping the tarot cards, uh, face down. I feel like they add a sense of mystery here that really aligns with um, using your intuition to connect to the piles um, and just kind of keeps things mysterious, keeps things open in a way. So what I encourage you to do, well, first, <laughs> we have three different piles here, right? So we have pile number one, which goes paired with uh, this crystal, uh, pile number two, and then pile number three. Um, so what I encourage you to do is to take uh, at least three deep mindful breaths. We can do one of those together. So let's uh, inhale and exhale. Please feel free to pause the video if you'd like some extra time. Um, really uh, important to connect with your intuition here. These messages are messages for uh, Monday through Friday of the week ahead. Um, not really including the weekend. The weekend there is different. So, uh, you know, there could be some work messages in here, but they don't necessarily have to be. They can be family, friends, goals, aspirations, etc. But really connect with your intuition here. Feel free to pause the video and take more of those breaths. Feel free to, uh, you know, maybe go get yourself a glass of water, stay hydrated, find a quiet, relaxing place to receive these messages. Uh, for those of you that are interested in private readings, I do also offer those. You can find more information on my channel page, in my description. I have a website called thatoracleguy.com where you can uh, purchase um, private readings for yourself or maybe private readings for a loved one. And without further ado, let's get into your readings. I've included timestamps in the video description for your convenience, and I will catch you at your pile. All right, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You selected this beautiful crystal, and that comes paired with the seven of pentacles so you might be asking and wondering uh this week if all of the energy all of the work that you've been putting into a certain scenario this could be a relationship this could be your job um i'm definitely seeing it linked to some of the earth uh elements here so um, this could definitely be related to your job. Wondering if maybe that project that you've been working on is going to come to fruition for you, if it's going to be uh, a, an abundant scenario for you. Um, you've put plenty of time and energy into this already, and now you're kind of just waiting to see what happens. Uh, let's get some additional messages for you to kind of clarify what is going to happen, okay? You've got the three of pentacles. You have the ten of wands. You also have the knight of pentacles in reverse. And let's pull at least one more for you before we start really diving in. Okay, a couple more for you, actually. You got the Wheel of Fortune as well, and the Page of Pentacles. Yes, so I'm definitely seeing that this is something related to um, money. This is something related to perhaps your career. Uh, <clears throat> first things first. Uh, first things first, 
you are you are ready you're working towards something and you are ready to bring about some new abundance in your life some new money in your life uh, perhaps to kick off this project that you've been working on you know you've been a little bit diligent about etc um, there is a bit of a slowness to the way in which uh, this this is manifesting this week. Um, I think you're being asked here to have patience in the scenario. Okay, so if you're working on something and 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 you're you're saying like, is this worth it? Is this worth my time and my energy? Should I re be redirecting my attention to something else this week? Um, I'm seeing that this does have the potential to be beneficial for you and abundant for you. Um, your head is definitely in the right place with moving towards this investment, moving towards this kind of pattern of work. Um, I do see that there is potential for it to be lucrative for you, but it is slow moving, okay? Um, I think this week you can expect some delays uh, regarding that. Um, you're being asked also not to lose, uh, don't lose your motivation. Don't lose uh, a sense of con a continued work here um, because you do have uh, quite a bit of experience. Um, you do have the capacity to build foundations and to persevere through delays, through obstacles, through, um, you know, things that could kind of get in your way a little bit. Um, so there is sort of a curbing of um, a hastiness here that is just really in line with you uh, continuing to put the, the effort that you need forward, continuing to um, work, continuing to uh, wrap up the loose ends of that project, okay? Um, you definitely have the ability to persevere through it. That is a, a, a definite definite strength of yours so keep on keeping on this week even if it seems like it's not really manifesting in completion in the way that maybe you would have hoped for by the end of the week okay um you're also being asked to delegate responsibility uh you don't need to take on this project or this this task entirely on your own there's actually at least one or two other people here that are willing to assist you so don't feel like you have to pick up you know the, <laughs> all of those wands and carry them to another place without any help without any assistance here you know like there are people who are um actual experts uh, perhaps in something that you're not totally versed in. So be cooperative with other people. Delegate responsibility. You don't have to do it entirely on your own. And you're being reminded here too that uh, when people collaborate and they work together, they can build these really incredible foundations. They can build this really incredible architecture. Um, and you're, you know, you're, you're just a human. You're just a person. No matter how experienced you are, uh, pile number one, like, you're not gonna know everything or be the best at, like, everything, you know? So, um, use, use this week as an opportunity for you to see, uh, where assistance lies for you. Um, who are your allies? Who are people that can support you? Who are people that can help you really bring about, um, this, this, this sense of destiny, this sense of luck, this sense of good fortune into your life, okay? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is also pragmatic, though. So it, it is saying, you know, life goes in ups and downs. There are um, delays, there are obstacles sometimes, there's advancements, there's opportunities, there's a way to grow, there's a way to prosper, etc. But it goes round and round and round, okay? So definitely stay patient, um, be intentional about what it is that you're investing your time and energy in and just understand that if there are delays or if there are little obstacles that are in your way, that is that is nonetheless still progress and in the very least it is good experience for you too, okay? Take all, um, take all of what's being offered to you this week as learning lessons, experience, and ways to kind of grow and prosper as a person, as a worker, within your your fields, whatever it is that you um, are investing a lot of your energy in, okay? You also got the Magician, you got the Two of Swords, you have Death, and so let's pull one more. You have the Five of 
five, yes, five of cups. And you also have the queen of pentacles. Okay, yes. So this, there, it's gonna be important for you to remember that abundance is absolutely your birthright. Um, it is very natural for you to receive assistance, for you to receive abundance, for you to get this financial opportunity, for you to win, to excel. Um, this is also a card of just really nice physical luxuries too. So this is this can be a reminder for you as well that money is an energy that um, does its best when it sort of like flows. So uh, perhaps this week, um, especially if there's obstacles or delays, you you can um, you should treat yourself. You know, is is what I'm hearing for you, pile number one. Like you work really hard for things. You know, if you want to buy yourself a really nice dinner at a restaurant, if you want to buy yourself that bag or that, that, you know, jacket or those shoes or whatever it is, that really nice smelling candle, like for sure. Um, money is an energy, you know, it, it does link us to abundance and freedom and peace and stability in all these ways. But there's also ways that you can just channel it into something that smells really good, feels really good on your fingers, your hands, etc. So maybe buy yourself something uh, this week as a treat for all the hard work that you're going to be putting into this, okay? Um, money is definitely very, very natural for you. Uh, abundance is very, very natural for you. And that gives you an edge that is actually very wholesome, homey. Um, so, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe purchase something for your home too, and just uh, really lean into relaxing and taking care of yourself. And, um, you know, just, just appreciating all that you have really is what I'm seeing as well here, pile number one. Uh, additionally, there are okay so there is there's definitely some obstacles here um and the obstacles that i'm seeing here for you is <laughs> i mean there there is an energy of you kind of wanting to move on um you might sort of be wondering like if this is again worth your time or your energy here uh you might have been thinking about phasing out um, or changing something. Uh, maybe you're considering like whether it's even worth it for you to be still working at this job or st still be dealing with these these roadblocks or these, you know, perhaps dynamics of um, delays and uh, maybe there's a little bit of dissatisfaction too, you know, like just kind of feeling like you're ready to move on from a situation. Uh, you're ready for like a change. So you're definitely being encouraged to understand that everything sort of flows ups, ups and downs. Only you are going to be the one that really is able to tell you like if enough is enough for you, you know, and if, if, if you, what you're really looking for here is some sort of change. Um, but I'm seeing a change coming to you, you know, either in the physical, like, um, you know, perhaps there's going to be a change to all of these delays that are happening. Perhaps there's going to be a more abundant uh, uh, financial situation that's coming to you. But keep your eye out for a rebirth, in a sense. That can happen totally internally within yourself, you know, this rebirth. Um, but it can also happen within the physical as well. So uh, maybe there's a change that you can do to, do to your home as, as a means for you to sort of luxuriate and relax a little bit. Maybe there's going to be a shifting, actually. I'm sort of saying maybe there's going to be a restructuring, actually, of your team, um, of your work responsibilities. Uh, that is very, very possible. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing layoffs here for you, um, but it might just be a dynamic where something really shifts in a way that is making you wonder, like, do you want to be here anymore? Is it even worth the effort for you? Should you just take up your experience and move on? That's very possible. Mm-hmm, very possible. Um, <clears throat> Another thing to sort of caution about is uh, there, you know, you might there this week there might be a tendency for you to overthink something. Um, you see how the two swords are kind of cutting through this otherwise like beautiful idyllic light rainbow, and it's kind of creating a sort of darkness around their head. Like there's a little bit of a dizziness that's happening here. There's a little bit of a the moon, so like maybe some insomnia, maybe some anxiety, maybe some subconscious fears, etc. Um, I think you're being asked this week to definitely uh, connect with um, what you're afraid of uh, and what paralyzes you. 
Um, there might be a decision here that needs to be made and you're weighing sort of between one option or another option. What should I do? Should I move on? Should I stick around? Do I have to deal with this? Should I pick up my things? Should I cooperate with people? You're, you're uh, in a little bit of a standstill here and it's gonna require you to make a change and it's gonna require you to make a, a decision. And what I like to remind everybody is that um, <laughs> not making a decision is actually making a decision here. So be, be cautious of just sort of overthinking. Um, I don't want you to focus on any sort of negative outcomes or negative thoughts here. You're being reminded absolutely that things happen in a cyclical nature. There's ups and downs that happen in general here, okay? Um, so if there's something that sort of disappoints you or there's a delay or maybe there's layoffs or maybe your position changes or maybe your responsibilities change or evolve in a way, just kind of connect with yourself, connect with what it is that you desire, connect with who you are, ask yourself where this sort of delay is coming from, where this fear might be coming from inside of yourself and take decisive action, okay? Uh, lean towards the change, it's definitely gonna be a fantastic rebirth for you, is what I'm seeing. And uh, you're definitely also being reminded here that no matter what the outcome is of this, um, this week, you're actually able to manifest whatever it is that you desire. So uh, you have all the tools at your disposal. You have a, a connection with the divine, the infinite here. You're actually co-creating with the universe. Um, so really connect with yourself this week as well. Lean into those changes, try and avoid those disappointments. And if you do feel disappointed, by all means, make that action that, that will align you more with your purpose, will align you more with what you want and also how you want to feel. The magician is asking you, how do you want to feel this week? Um, and to hold that emotion, uh, channel it into your everyday experience and, um, and, and really bring about those, those positive, positive uh, changes. You ultimately are the one that is in charge of your own destiny here, okay? So um, you can spin that wheel right around and turn something that might've been a negative into a positive, okay? Everything is always happening for your greater good, pile number one. Um, so look at, look at these, perhaps some of these endings as just a spinning wheel of experience for you. I'm seeing that you are very experienced and I'm also seeing that you're not going to be alone in whatever it is that's, that, that happens this week, but definitely a new opportunity here for you to make money. Definitely a new opera, you know, in the future, uh, definitely seeing some really luxurious, abundant, uh, receptive, uh, you know, uh, energy here so what if, if what it is that you're wanting to manifest here is a, a change of position a change of your career path a change of you know maybe you feel like you've been wasting your time in a place i see that kind of coming into you and being a positive even if it seems like it is a negative all right, pal number one, that was your reading. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to join the family and see more videos like this. I release a new video once a day. If you liked the video, give it a like. Again, these are collective readings. So, you know, if, if some of these messages didn't resonate with you, just let it go, let it flow. It might have belonged to another person. But if you're ever wanting to do a private reading that is way more granular and way more specific to you and your situation, you can find more information at thatoracleguy.com. Thank you for being here. I will catch you at the next one of these. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. You selected this pile with this beautiful clear quartz, chunky clear quartz, and you got the six of swords. So this is a this is a card about moving from uh, kind of rock, a rockier situation, a more unstable situation into something that is calmer, um, something that is more of an oasis, something that is going to be more aligned with what it is that you desire in your life. Um, this is also usually a family scene, so it's it could be a shift that's happening this week that is that is taking you and your family or your friends, or your loved ones to calmer waters, especially if things have been feeling kind of. <laughs> A little hectic maybe you had a bit of a, a hectic week last week but seeing this in reverse is suggesting to me that 
you know that there's like some sort of change that has to happen. You know that you should really be moving on to this new situation, but you are wondering like, you're sort of doubting your path there or you're sort of doubting the fact that it needs to happen. So what you're being encouraged to keep in mind this week is like, you are the one that did like, you need to take care of yourself and you need to take care of um, your own sort of internal world, your own sort of uh, integrity, your own truths, right? So you owe it to yourself to connect with yourself. Um, no one is gonna advocate for you as best as you advocate for yourself here, okay? To be honest about the situation and to um, prepare yourself to, to give yourself the, the smoother waters that you might need, okay? Um, so definitely be honest. Be honest with yourself here about how you're feeling in a situation and like, do you deserve calmer waters? Like, yeah, you do. Uh, but there is a change that I'm definitely seeing um, that needs to happen for you this week. So that'll definitely be on your mind quite a bit. All right, let's pull some more cards for you. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, definitely getting some, uh, you know, potential work messages here for sure, okay? Um, what I'm seeing is, you. so this week, this change that is happening is, look at you, like, you're not very happy with something, okay? Um, you're not very happy and you're actually pretty ready um, to, to move on from a situation. You might be feeling kind of bored or apathetic or not seen or recognized enough in a way. Like this is very much the, the card of like spilling over cried or <laughs> crying over spilled milk, I should say. Um, so there is something that happened, uh, perhaps last week that is leaving you looking at these three cups poured on the ground and just kind of feeling disappointed about it. Um, you're being reminded as well from the universe that, uh, this this sort of disappointment what this can do is it's actually blocking our ability to see that there's other opportunities that are available for us maybe this kind of fear that you have of um moving on to calmer waters is is blocking your ability to see that the calmer waters are easily accessible to you but you're it's you know it's kind of not being recognized because maybe you're in your feels and that's totally fair <laughs> okay um and there's also conflict you know i mean this is definitely the vibe of like i mean there's a, a diversity here right there's a diversity of thoughts that are coming together but like everyone's no one's really considering every other person's opinion right like it's very competitive there's like tension you know you might have been experiencing uh conflicts with with people that you usually sync pretty well with um this is kind of that feeling of like a zoom call where like everybody has something to say about it but no one's reaching kind of like a center like a, a middle ground, you know? So you're being encouraged to definitely like hear out the opinions of other people. But at the same time, like this 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 tension and this conflict might be some of that rockiness that's disappointing you. Um, so there is value to what it is that other people have to say, you know? Sometimes it's easier to just go with the flow in a certain way and let people bulldoze their way in, especially if you know that you wanna be moving on. But this is this is making you feel it's it's bringing you down you know i mean this is this maybe you're a person that values very much values cooperation very much values um you know people a unification like people coming together harmoniously you know like this is a wedding scene this is a union of minds hearts souls potential ambition all that stuff you know so if there's all these disagreements it might just not really sit very well with you which i definitely understand i mean things can get so bureaucratic right but um this this lack of sort of hope or renewal happening here is 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 suggesting to me that it is also going to be important for you this week to take care of yourself all right like i think connecting with yourself and reminding yourself that you are your best advocate you are your own true only advocate is going to be um, a good reminder for you here as well. And, you know, you're ready. 
you're ready for a ch you're ready to 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 make a change you're ready to see you know you're ready to see how big the world is out there you know you're ready to travel and move on from your situation into another situation you're ready to climb those mountains you're ready to you know look at this walking stick that this figure has like they're ready um they've they've made some plans they know who they are they sort of know what they want here and they're ready to 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 move on so um just remember like you're 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 prepared for this you're prepared for um whatever shifts that will bring you into smoother waters okay don't let this energy of uh, disappointment and like a lack of renewal really prevent you from seeing that there are beautiful unions there are beautiful um uh celebration worthy occasions okay so uh for some of you you might be going to a wedding you know soon or maybe there's a birthday or a celebration but what i'm seeing here really is that there is a unification perhaps of your um of your needs and your desires and your actions that is really going to be much more celebratory for you okay um yes and you also got the knight of pentacles so there is progress being made um you know there it's okay to be slow with with this decision making process that you're going through this week okay slow and steady wins the race actually so don't don't feel like you need to jump into anything this week a lot of this is really sort of internal work i'm i'm seeing um you might have to just kind of um create a more of a work-life balance for you is, is gonna, I'm definitely seeing being something that could be beneficial for you, okay? You got a lot of things to be happy about. You got a lot of things to celebrate in your day-to-day -day life, okay? So maybe depersonalize a little bit this week, you know? Uh, take your take your disappointments out the door and, um, you know, you don't really have to... If people aren't listening anyway, like, you don't really have to chime in, you know? You, you could just let it kind of flow, but... There, I am seeing slow and steady wins the race here for you uh, this week. So no needs, you know, make sure that whatever it is that you're doing is really in line with uh, your long-term goals, okay? And your long-term aspirations as well. You also got the Knight of Wands. So there is, you're, you're, you're ready to, to move on to this thing that is, you know, a, a long-term investment, but you're also ready um, to, to align yourself with things that feel more passionate, okay? Um, these are very opposite energy. So one of them is telling you to go nice and slow. And then the other one is just like, rush on in there. <laughs> um, I would encourage you to, I mean, obviously make that decision for yourself, but I am sort of seeing that this slower energy is better, but there is also very impassioned energy here too. So let's, let's connect again with our passions, with our things that really motivate us. Like, what is it that you really want? You know, what would make you feel good? What would make you feel charismatic, energetic, creative, passionate, you know? Um, I feel like this energy can actually turn this uh, lack of hope and renewal upside down um, and bring it back into alignment. So uh, maybe there's also something that you feel very passionate about outside of your work. You know, maybe you've got a, a side project or maybe you've got, you know, some crafty DIY sort of thing that that really rejuvenates you. So you're being encouraged to also lean into that, um, you know, create that work life balance for yourself as well. And, you know, to to remember that there's a perspective here that exists that is bigger than what you're seeing this week, okay? Um, if, if some of these disappointments that, you're, that you might experience this week um, might just be due to a lack of a, a larger, broader picture of everything, um, the hanged man does encourage us to see that everything is connected to see that every like our place in the universe to see how um really just how things work in their own divine timing okay uh maybe you're not there's a trust i think that that uh, will develop with you this week um a trust of the way that the universe works um, it might not happen very quickly for you, but, you know, just know that the universe is always conspiring to give you everything that you want in divine timing. Um, so, you know, balance out some of this energy, perhaps with your own personal life, perhaps with your family life, your marriage, your partnerships, your friendships, something worth celebrating, something that feels good for you. Um, and that'll provide you this really fantastic shift. You're, you just put your trust in the universe is what I'm definitely hearing for you, okay? So, uh, you know, loosen the reins a little 
little bit. Relax a little bit. It doesn't have to happen so quickly this week, okay? You're really gonna wanna focus on what you, um, moving into this new, slower, calmer energy. And that could just be within your own mind. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, somebody's shifty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, somebody's out here. Somebody's out here. This is encouraging you to, like, these arguments, this disagreement and stuff, there's going to be a winner. Somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. But there, there is really no winning or losing in this scenario, okay? Like, even the person that won the situation is out here damaging relationships in such a way that, like, they're ruining their reputation in a certain way, like, ruining their integrity in a certain way, that it's leaving these people off to the side being like, dang, I'm burning that bridge, okay? So somebody out here in your in your life this week might be doing some shifty, combative stuff that's leaving you feeling like, oh, I don't, that disappoints me, you know? It is disappointing when people act that way. But just know that, you know, karma, karma handles it. You don't need to handle that. And you especially don't want to be this person. We all go through our flows, right? We've all been there. We've all been that person. But what you're being encouraged this week is don't win the battle just to lose the war. Careful what you say to people this week, okay? Don't say anything that you don't mean and you can't take back, 100%. But if somebody says that, says something to you, means something, whatever, disappoints you in that certain way, let it let it rock, let it go, let it flow, you know what I mean? They're, they're just projecting their own kind of internal nonsense and that will come around to bite them in the butt in their own, okay? Their own karmic path. You're also being encouraged to open yourself. Be open to these other possibilities. Um, this is love, this is openness, this is love, this is newness. The universe is offering you something new, loving, beautiful, okay? So you're being encouraged to, to lean into um, things that make you feel good, things that, you know, honor your emotions, things that honor your heart, things that make you feel open-hearted, to be compassionate with these people, to be empathetic with this situation. But you're also being encouraged to give love, to receive love, and to pour into yourself as well, okay? So can you redirect your energy into something that feels more loving, more unified, more passionate. Can you see the opportunities there for you to do that this week? Do that this week. Don't get caught up in this BS because I'm seeing some BS going on for you this week, all right? And redirecting your attention towards that, moving into the calmer waters this week is going to give you this new unified perspective of things where you're like, oh, actually, actually, I do have these two cups right over here. That's that shift, you know, that shift that is going to uh, really benefit you this week. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for those opportunities. Don't listen to what the haters got to say about it, all right? All right, pal number two, thank you very much for being here. I do appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you want to join the family, subscribe, okay? Join the fam. I release a new video every day. Uh, once again, these are general readings. So if, if some of this doesn't connect with you, it's totally cool. Maybe, you know, another pal will connect with you more. Just let it go, let it flow. Maybe it belongs to another person. But if you're ever interested in doing private readings, I do offer those at thatoracleguy.com. Check it out for more information. Uh, wishing you all the best always, and I will talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. Last but certainly not least, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. You selected this bad boy paired with the Queen of Wands. So what I'm seeing for your week coming ahead, pal number three, is that you are going to be that person that commands attention, gets respect, is magnanimous, is in their power, is, is sitting on their throne. People are gonna 
if you have to give some sort of talk, anything that you say this week is going to leave people being like, wow. Pile number three knows what they're talking about. I love what they have to say. I love their creativity. I love the way that they go about things. You are definitely like in a very powerful place for yourself. This is fire sign energy. So you could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries. You don't necessarily have to be, but it is embodied in this sort of outward, creative, passionate way that is very magnanimous. Like people are just gonna be like, wow, pile number three, wow. So you're gonna, you're starting off the week with very powerful energy, pile number three. Let's get some more cards for you. You also have the six of pentacles in reverse. You have the king of swords in reverse. You have the four of swords in reverse. Ooh, this one wants it to flip over. And you have the five of swords in reverse. Okay, so you're definitely being reminded this week that you are absolutely that bitch <laughs> gender neutral bitch i'm sorry i don't mean to curse and everything but that's the energy that i'm seeing you are very very powerful okay so don't don't let envy or the envy that people have for you this week in any way affect you okay they're only cheating themselves by trying to cheat you and you don't do that you do not cheat yourself queen of wands okay stay grounded stay in it to win it all right you've also got the king of swords in reverse and so maybe there's some falsehoods that are happening there might be some drama that's happening this week and you are being reminded like hey sit in sit on your throne sit in this very powerful energy okay you're also being reminded that there's in some sort of way, in some way, there's an imbalance that's happening. Um, so are you giving, are you giving like way too much of yourself to a specific situation? You might be. Um, it's not fair, okay? Uh, in, in any capacity, in within a relationship, within your job, whatever, like things are 50-50 equally as they should be. It's all good sometimes if, you know, a scenario requires you to be 80%, you know, and then the other person 20 or you to be 100, but the other person zero, you know, like that's okay to have happen every once in a while. But if it's consistent, if you're consistently over, over giving, over extending, over, 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 that's not okay. That is not the queen of wands energy, okay? She is really very powerful. And people want to give her at least 50%. What you need from this situation is for them to be giving you 80%. Not, not to continue to dry your, you know, run your, your cup dry. Nothing like that. Because there's a need here for you to rest. You're definitely burnt out and exhausted. Something this week is going to burn you out and is exhausting, okay? So definitely uh, prioritize, prioritize rest, prioritize sleep. You're being encouraged to take care of yourself and you're being encouraged that this energy of imbalance, this energy of like some sort of falsehoods or like abuse of power in some sort of way or some kind of scheming that's going on here is so beneath you. Ew. <laughs> that is so beneath you, okay? Um, so focus on yourself this week. Rest is going to definitely be very important. I want to understand more. So I'm going to pull some more cards for you. Um, let me shift these up a little bit so we can see them better. <clears throat> you also got the judgment card in reverse. Yes, somebody's going to have to answer to a higher power here. <laughs> This is, this is the, like, only God can judge me. That's that, that's that energy, okay? Um, it is absolutely the energy of, like, rebirth, renewal in a certain way. It's, like, absolving yourself of your sins, of, like, uh, you know, having this, this, this partnership with the divine in a way where you're just, like, I'm evolving. So you might be encouraged here to connect with a sort of, spirituality like connect with a higher power a divine power right 
um, and allow for an internal transformation. Maybe, maybe this is the energy that you've been putting up with last week, or you know, you feel like you have to give too much, burn the midnight oil. You know, you got some schemey stuff going on here. Maybe you're compromising your own integrity and values here. Okay, you're definitely being <clears throat> encouraged to shift into this Queen of Wands energy, and that is going to require you to. It's. I almost want to say like pardon yourself like forgive yourself for the ways that you've had to be in the past like we all forget sometimes like this incredible power that we have okay but what i'm also seeing here that is one portion of the reading okay but what i'm also seeing here is that karma's coming for that ass for all of these people who are you know some situation it's beyond you it's beyond your you know what i mean it's 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 their relationship with the divine divine okay so apply some judgment to the situation look at it critically like and also just know like go with the flow with it too like karma's just gonna come for them in whatever in, a, in whatever way it applies it's not really your business how it plays out in the end all you can do is really take care of yourself here but yes, I mean, definitely seeing <clears throat> with the judgment card. <clears throat> Excuse me. <Woo. laughs> this reading got me like choking. Uh, I mean, that, that is kind of making me say like, maybe you're not speaking your truth. It's sort of hard for you to get words out, <clears throat> especially with these like swords. So <sighs> there's, there's something about you needing to advocate for yourself here. Say in that throne, maybe like speak your, speak your mind for sure. Uh, but the high priestess is is also deep, deeply, incredibly mystic, spiritual. So connect with a deep spirituality with yourself. You're being encouraged to develop a deeper relationship with the divine here, okay? All things are forgiven, always. That's how the universe works. You don't have to sit there. The, the past don't last, okay? You don't have to sit there waiting for like, a, oh, if I have a, you know, yes, of course, yes, you, yes, you deserve it. You got it, you, anything you want. You're, you're, you're that person. Like, wow, everybody, you're so magnetic. You're so powerful, you know? So, um, take care of yourself, meditate with yourself, you know? Um, you're, you know, this is encouraged. If you, if you have some sort of, uh, spiritual practice that you really lean on, um, that is very beneficial for you. Like maybe it's tarot cards, your own divination, maybe it's meditation, sound bowl, whatever. Do that this week and center yourself, okay? You're being asked to have this beautiful, deep connection with the divine, which I'm already seeing because the Queen of Wands has that black cat there. Like she is very mystic. She's kind of got like witchy vibes, um, but very, very um, magnetic, okay? <clears throat> you also have the devil in reverse. And you have the page of wands okay so there might be some like obsessions um some sort of obsessive thoughts that are happening here okay um the devil in reverse is is saying that you are you are preparing yourself you are preparing yourself to like let go of things that no longer serve you okay um if anything's been making you feel like you're giving too much or you're too bound to a situation you're in the process of sort of releasing that this week the spirituality is really going to help you release some of those uh some of those chains some of those you know <clears throat> things that feel like they're binding you or holding you back or negatively affecting you or making you overthink or whatever you know um the devil is also capricorn <clears throat> and uh capricorn in reverse could be saying like you know i mean the capricorn's very ambitious like the capricorn's gonna climb the mountain like they're gonna do all the things but in reverse maybe there's like a little bit of a lack of ambition here maybe you're you're just kind of not feeling as like jazzed on things and that's that's a result of you giving too much and needing to relax you know so definitely take care of yourself you know realign yourself with more of that fantastic ambition that you have of yours because you you're ready you're ready for a new journey right you're ready for something that is passionate you're ready you're ready to to reconnect with your passion to reconnect with um just this incredible creative magnanimous um extroverted uh, magnetic attractive energy of yourself okay so connect, reconnect with that connect with yourself spiritually forgive yourself and understand that karma works in its own way for other people you don't got to sweat them <laughs> or their devilish behavior and keep your eyes on the horizon okay dream dream a little bit this 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 week okay what would what would be like what would just be like a dope new adventure for you mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> 
And this is this is a card of so much uh, uh, cooperation, you know, just kind of like having this expertise available to you by other people, but it's in reverse. So there is something imbalanced here related to the situation this week. There is something that does not feel as cooperative as it could or should be. So get get within yourself. Remind yourself who you are, okay? Don't get bogged down by that. That's okay. You don't need to <clears throat> You don't need to spend so much of your time or attention <clears throat> on these unequal situations. Yeah, because we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Look at the Nine of Swords. I mean, that is stress. That is definite stress. But in reverse, let me just pull some, uh, let me pull a little bit of advice for you for the reverse of this one, okay? <clears throat> I mean, this is ang anguish, you know? Uh, yeah, so there's, there's a, a pattern that's happening here of uh, uh, negative thinking that is, that is um, making it, feel difficult to kind of get past some of this stuff, probably because you're really tired. There are these endless loops of sort of anxiety, you know, depression, maybe. Um, I think this week, it is going to be really important for you to connect with yourself, absolutely, but it'll also be really nice for you to just talk to someone that you trust, okay? Maybe you just have like a friend or a family member that like, if you feel like you've just been keeping too much of this inside, definitely prioritize communicating that to someone. Sometimes using your voice in a very impassioned way can clear up some of that energy, you know? Uh, unlock like your sh your throat chakra, right? Like just, just get it out, get it out through your uh, through your voice, you know? But your advice for this is for you to journal, um, journal all your fears out. Talk to someone you trust exactly about how you feel. Find other people who may be feeling what you're feeling, like members of a support group or a friend, you know? Um, if this is related to a working situation, maybe there are other people that feel the same way too, actually. So maybe there's a unionization that can happen. Maybe there's just an aligning that can happen. Maybe, you know, you guys can air each your grievances to one another if you trust them. Because watch out for whoever this person is. You, you're gonna know. You're gonna know. Um... Yeah, and then just imagine sort of happier, safer places for yourself, okay? Which is very in line with this Page of Wands. Like imagine happier, more exciting, more energetic, more creative, more flowing adventures for yourself, okay? But definitely this week, you're being encouraged to remember how powerful and magnanimous you are. This is your core nature. Let karma do her own thing. <laughs> You do your own thing. Connect with yourself. Definite spiritual messages here for you. Um, okay, well, I'm feeling called to pull a couple additional cards for you. I'm going to pull um, one from the, uh, like, Whispers of Love Angel <laughs> Oracle deck. So let's get, like... I like this one. New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth. Okay, so yeah, there's a, there's a embrace a certain energy of, I mean, the Queen of Wands is very lovely, very loving, right? This Page of Wands loving. So just embrace the possibility of there being a new, loving, incredible work-related scenario for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be work, but just keep yourself open-hearted to that possibility, okay? If you're in this in this energy, what happens is you kind of block the ability to see clearly. I mean, let's keep it real. See clearly all these other opportunities that are available to you. So do that spiritual work <clears throat> this week. Prioritize that, please. We're also gonna get some uh, high vibe messages for you. Maybe get like a couple. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become a reality. Yes, so if your intentions are to move towards something that's more loving, your intentions is to be honored for your powerful self and you have faith that the universe is going to give you everything that you desire, that's it. So definitely the, you're being encouraged to do some fabulous manifestation work this week as well. You also have uh, to begin the practice of allowing I must get out of my way and let spirit give me direction. That is this. So absolutely the high priestess, 
you know, uh, do some meditation work. Allow yourself to re receive divine inspiration, okay? It'll be clear for you. It'll become clear for you. There's something that is going to enter you. But you need to create a little bit of space this week, right? And we'll do a couple of self-care cards for you because I'm just feeling, feeling like giving you that assist. <clears throat> self-care is important. All right, let's do this one, dream journal. Yeah, so it's that burnout energy here. Uh, this is another reminder for you to get some rest, okay? Are you sleeping? You need to go to sleep. Definitely prioritize that as well. And then keep a little journal by your bed. There might, some of these downloads that you might be receiving that'll give you inspiration, this new love, this direction and everything might come to you in your dreams, but it's so easy to <laughs> have our dreams just like slip away from us if we don't have a dream journal. So just write down the themes and whatever core themes, memories and stuff that you have as soon as you wake up is going to definitely be beneficial for you to do some of that dream journal magic. And to and uh, also sing. Wasn't I saying use your voice? There's something about using your voice here, okay? So uh, definitely just playfully sing, you know? Uh, <clears throat> if you're not advocating for yourself quite in the way that you should, you can unlock and unblock your throat chakra just by singing it out, you know? Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, you know what I mean? Like some just, some true diva ballads and just really unlock that. It doesn't matter what you sound like. It doesn't matter if you're not in harmony. All that matters is that you're using your voice. 100%. All right, pal number three, that was your reading for the week ahead. I hope that these messages resonated with you. If you like the video, please feel free to give it a like. If you want to join the family, if you're new here, please subscribe. I release a new video once a day. Um, as always, these are collective messages. So, you know, if some of this doesn't res really resonate with you, that's, that's cool. Just let it go, let it flow. Maybe it belongs to somebody else. If you ever want to do like a private reading, something way more granular to your situation, you can find out more information at thatoracleguy.com. That's my personal website where you can book those for yourself, or for a family member. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you at the next one of these. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to you later. Goodbye.